how hard was it keeping it a secret for your rumble return? Well, it wasn't hard because they didn't tell me until like two days before. Two days before. Yes. Yes. So it was not hard at all because I didn't have time to tell anyone. Did you even prep? Like, what did no, you- no. And thank God I am a gear hoarder. I have so many new sets of gear waiting at all times. Um, so I had I picked a set and I went to work. That's literally, that's how simple it was. I mean, it's crazy. How do you pick your gear for this year? This year's Rumble. So this year's Rumble was a little bit different. I had a couple of options, but I narrowed it down to rainbow or plain white. And the thing about the Rumble is that every year, there's always one color that people think is going to be really unique. And it ends up being like the color. People as in the fans? No, the wrestlers. So you end up, one year it was like five girls wearing white. This year, it was a lot of girls wearing red. Last year, it was a lot of girls wearing neon rainbow colors. So you just never know. So I like to be prepared now and have two sets, if not three. So going into it, I actually decided I'm going to send the locker room a text and we can all put our colors in and that way we have an idea of, okay, if everyone's wearing blue this year, people can kind of like get other gear made. So when I heard that... um nobody was doing rainbow I was like okay maybe I'll I'll do rainbow and then one of my co-workers when I said rainbow mentioned like oh my gosh you're such an ally for the community and I'm like oh okay I was not I was just I had a rainbow set so once she said that I was like okay wait a second because if this is what if this is what people are going to think going out there then I really want people to know I don't want people to just think that I'm wearing pride colors like I want people to know so then I went out and got a flag and I um uh made a skirt out of the the pride flag and I made it a moment and I think you know making it a moment in Florida made it really a moment how important is that branding for people to know exactly what you're doing when you come out there for me it's very important like I don't want anything I do to be wishy-washy I want people to know this is why I did it this is who I support this you know like I I think just we're on this massive platform and we have to stand up for what we believe in and for me especially coming from Canada where we're just a lot more loving and accepting of everything culture race gender gender identity like everything for me living in Florida now it's really 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 important that I stick up for my friends and the things that I believe in 